Welcome back to Mad Dog Air Guns. Now in a previous video, we had the HDR68. We put the tuning barrel in with the extension and the aluminium drum. Didn't get very good results. Now, I didn't know what to expect. In standard form, I was have seen 28 to 30 joules firing PVC iron balls, I think, or certain ammunition I got from Home Defense 24. I can't remember. If you look back on the video, you'll see. In standard form, this 16 joule HDR68 put out between 27 and 30. With all these tuning bits, I was expecting a little bit more than what we got. Um, now, although it was disappointing, I was always planning to do some more things to this. Being the 16 joule version, there's no valve block inside the gun, but there is a restrictor disc in the handle. So, I've got them here. Well, them. <laughs> We'll have a close look, but that's the one for the HDR68. This is the one that I used to have in the HDR50, which is drilled out to 1.5 millimeters. So we're gonna put the 1.5 millimeter one in there, see what that does. And then we're gonna take the restrictor disc out altogether and see what that does. Um, now, I've had a few comments saying, oh, you need to put a stronger spring on the barrel, but I mean, it returns and it's got, it's even now, it's still, quite a tight trigger where the barrel's being pushed back onto the drum. Yeah, let's have a quick look over on this bench. That's the standard one with a hole in the middle. And that's the one that's drilled out to 1.5 millimeters. So we're gonna install that one in the gun and we'll try it through the chronograph. We're going to fire some of these through it. These are the Ammo 6V9 68 calibre, 4.9 grams. Now I've just, I've done this before with the HDX because the HDX doesn't feed rubber balls very nicely sometimes. So I tend to just spray a bit of silicon oil in the tin, put the lid on, give it a good old shake. They're all coated in a bit of, a bit of oil now. So that will help things go out of the barrel. Uh, I'm not trying to get false readings or anything, but I'm just going to give the gun a little bit of help. So we'll get it loaded up, get some CO2 in it, and we'll fire out the window with a chronograph. First five shots. Five shots without the restrictor disc. Quite pleasing results from that. Um, first shots with a restricted disc drilled to 1.5 mil, which is probably what I would recommend because it keeps your power sort of in the upper regions for longer. Started off at 30 joules and came down to about 24. So at the moment, the restricted disc is missing. First shot put out a nice healthy 32 joules, um, but by the fifth shot, it was down to six. So it's putting out a lot of CO2 every time. If you wanted a couple of strong shots, and you think that would probably do, take the restrictor disc out altogether, you know, you'll get a good 32 joules. Now this is the 16 joule version with the tuning barrel and the extension. Um, there's no, I've not modified the pin or anything like that. Just modified the restrictor disc. Uh, I think I'll probably leave it at that because the HDR50 that I've got, I run that without the restrictor disc because it's got the modified pin in it. That puts out about 25 joules with the extended barrel. This is a tuning barrel as well. 
Um, so I'll probably put the 1.5mm restricted disc back in that and you'll get a good 30, 30 joules, which is not bad. Now that those rounds are only 4.9 grams. I'm uh, running a bit low on ammunition at the moment. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to make some. Trouble is I can't find this resin anywhere. Well, I can in Germany, but they want 27 euros to ship it to France. And I ain't paying that because that's more than what the, uh, the actual resin costs. <laughs> Yeah, I think long thread on there. Well, it's pretty good. Nice bit of power. It's not the extreme jewels that. Uh, a lot of people are getting with HPA, but we do have a bottle here and we will be experimenting. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. This is just to sort of prove that the tuning barrel and the extension, it does work. Uh, obviously you've got to have your gun in the right state. In the original state, it was putting out, what, about 12 joules. <laughs> but um, yeah. I'm quite chuffed with that now, so all good stuff. We're back up and running as it should be. Anyway, catch you in the next video. Bye for now.